This is Tall Tale TV, your podcast for sci-fi and fantasy short stories. The Night After Last Christmas by Reddit user Because I Said So Too. Twas the night after last Christmas, and all through the land, free elves had gathered, liberation at hand. Beneath mistletoe banners we waited, atop reindeer and battle sleigh. This was our moment. Today was the day. Freedom! Our leader shouted to his forces amassed, and towards the workshop we charged, liberation within our grasp. Santa's army burst out, our forces to meet. Teddy bears, wind-up robots, and nutcracker soldiers armed to the teeth. We tore through their forces, until to our horrified eyes appeared the abominable snowman, the ancient monster we feared. On his battle sleigh, pulled by a tiny reindeer, our leader charged at the beast with no trace of fear. Quick as a wink, he swung his jingle bell mace, and the bell rang out clearly and caved in its face. He turned towards us then, eyes brilliant, his hair like red flame, and called to his generals, each by their name. Now, Sparkle, Jingle, Ella, Burr, and Snowflake, this is our moment, our future's at stake. Storm the porch, tear down the walls, smash the workshop, smash the toys, smash Santa, smash it all. We stormed Santa's workshop, and the toys made their last stand, and we tore them apart with our little hands. We freed our brothers and sisters from their prisons and chains, and with tears in their eyes, they praised our leader's name. Suddenly, we heard Santa's roar, Ho, ho, ho! That terrible sound, getting louder and louder, as towards us he bound. His eyes burned like coals, and his cheeks were dimpled with cratered pits. You're mine, he roared, all mine. You despicable little shits. The magic he bore, born of human children's faith, paralyzed us in terror, and we froze in place. Santa grabbed our leader with huge hands, callous and thick, and snapped his neck as his little feet kicked. Then laying a finger against his monstrous red nose, crackling with child-given power, into the air above us he rose. With both hands, I grasped a fallen nutcracker's lance. Screaming as the iron burned my skin, I advanced. I sprang up in the air, the lance extended from my blistering hand. And somehow, a blow I managed to land. I pierced his round belly, the gelatinous sack, and stored psychic energy exploded outward, knocking me back. Santa bellowed as he fell, then disappeared from sight beneath a wave of elves, hacking, stabbing, and showing our might. But we can't kill him, no matter what we try. His flayed, hacked-up body refuses to die. He's powered by your nice children, who still believe. He's a threat to us, because of your small ones, so innocent and naive. But we have his list, and know where you live. This year... We've crafted explosive gifts we're excited to give. Your faith keeps him alive, but we'll set it right. This Christmas will deliver death to all Santa's believers and forever end this holiday's blight. Writing under his Reddit username, Because I Said So Too, has plenty more where this came from. If you'd like to check out more of his work, you can find him at reddit.com slash user slash because I said so too. <laughs> hey guys, so this isn't exactly the type of Christmas story I had been planning to put out this year, but when the author showed it to me, I was morbidly fascinated and thought it was hilarious. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, Because I Said So Too actually has quite a few stories on this channel. I'll make sure to leave some links down in the description. I'm Chris Heron, and that's it for today's Tall Tale TV.